Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how to solve the two sum question from Lead Goat. So the question says, given an array of integers, nums, so that one right here, and an integer target, that one right here, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. So let's look at this example right here. It is 2, 7, 11, and 15. And they're asking you to return the indices of the two numbers that add up to the target 9. So the indice of this is 0, the indice of this is 1, the indice of this is 2, and the indice of this is 3. So 2 and 7 equals to 9. So therefore, the answer should be 0 and 1. So these are the indices of the two numbers that adds up to the target. It also goes and says you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So keep this at the back of our mind so our method should not iterate over the same value or multiply or add the same value to itself. You may return the answer in any order. And this example is the example I just explained here. In this case, again, the indice is 0, the indice 1 and indice is 2. So the answer returns 1 and 2 because 2 plus 4 equals the target 6. OK, so let's get started. Well, the first thing we can do is we can iterate through this list and try to extract the first number and add it to the next number and see, hey, do you add up to the target? Well, if it doesn't add up to the target, I can try adding 11 to this number and see if it adds up to the target and then I can add up 15 to this number and see if it's if it's the target and then because I did 2 plus 7 already next time I want to do 7 plus 11 and then 7 plus 15 third time I want to be doing 11 plus 15 and then if I found no answer then I should not return anything so to iterate uh, through the list what we can do is for value for value in nums. Now, if I want to extract the value and the index, what we do is we can add idx, which stands for index, and then wrap the nums in enumerate. Enumerate. And this way, every time this iterates, it's going to give us 0, and then the value, which in this case is 2. Now, what I can do is check, can create a variable called required number, and basically it is the target minus the current value that I have extracted. So in here, it will be 9, and in the first round, the value will be 2, so it's going to do 9 minus 2, which is going to give me 7. So the required number is 7, so I need to check if 7 exists in the list somewhere. However, if I check 7 directly in this list, I will not be able to extract, extract the index value. So what I should do is I should create a dictionary that keeps tracks of the index and the value of all the numbers I have created. So what I can do then is go up here and create dictionary of seen values. And then what I can do is, is do the first check you know what, is this required number in the dictionary of seen values? So I'm asking it. Well, if it says yes, well, fantastic. Then I can just simply return the current index and go into this dictionary of seen values and substitute in the required numbers to get the index. But hold on a second, why is it this way? Because in the first round, if, if or in these subsequent rounds where the required number is not seen, what you can do is say, hey, in this dictionary of seen values, I want you to add me this value and give me and give me the index. Does that make sense? So next time I am right here, this required number will be the value if you ever find it in the next round, and it will give you back the index. So then it's going to be the index of the current value 
plus the index of the number that contains the value. And the sum of both of these, due to this equation right here, would be the target. And when I run it, I get the solution um, correct. So please let me know if you have any questions. I hope this explanation was clear. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you have learned something new in this video.